Well, howdy, howdy. How are you doing today? I am a two minute late Eve with the baby's booty. And we are coming to you tonight super live with super bling. Okay. So you guys are aware if you're not aware by now, but we're going to make you aware the buy-in is live. So there is a buy-in going on right now. So if you haven't participated in a buy-in as of yet, it's on. What are you waiting for? But aside from that, I wanted to say greetings and welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We are going to have quite a bit to talk about tonight, and it all revolves around making some money. So I know a lot of you guys like to craft just for the sheer fun of it. It's not profit-driven at all. It's just something that you choose to do for gifts for friends and family or for yourself. Totally get that. Totally, totally get that, right? But for those of you who are looking or maybe on the fence about trying to make some money with your business, well, we're going to talk about that tonight. I have been in meetings this week in regards to adding some other stuff coming in a couple of weeks, y'all. I got a guest coming on the show and we are going to get into other ways you can make money without doing a whole lot of work at all. And I am really excited about that one. So we'll get into that a little bit later. We'll talk about that. Um, we also want to let folks know that although there is a buy-in live, the prior buy-in, we are currently shipping out. Some of you have already received your stones. Some will be receiving your stones shortly. We intend to have things done by this week. That's the plan. Now, keep in mind, I have a ton of doctor's appointments this week. I apologize. That was just not planned. They was like, okay, we got to get this scheduled. And so they're scheduled. But in and in between all of that, we're going to be filling orders. Holler. So we'll be getting packages out. So I wanted to keep you abreast of that. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never been here before, welcome from the bottom of our little raggedy hearts. We really appreciate you being here with us. And we want to show you exactly how you can just be a part of this awesome family. Let me share my screen with you so that you can see what all that entails. So look right here. Look, 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 look. So here's our website, our website, our channel right here on YouTube. And this is us, right? And so I'm live right now. I didn't put up a picture. So it's showing, you know, the generic picture, but that's cool. So right here, this red button is free y'all oh you can click that subscribe button and you can be like yeah girl i'm a part of a cool channel and, uh, and you just gonna have that clout and you're gonna be part of the hoop group to a certain degree i mean you're gonna be part of the subscribe hoop group and folks is just gonna be like oh i want to be part two you can be like oh girl all you gotta do is push this red button but if you really want to hook up and just be like look i'm all in on this channel i want to help out i like these folks i like the vibe well, guess what? There's a blue join button right here. You can become a member of the channel. No pressure. No pressure. I ain't lying. It's no pressure. You don't absolutely have to, but it is available there for you if you would like to. So that is an option. We also have a Facebook group. So if you go on Facebook, you can type in uh, the baby's booty and it will pull up our group. And you can join our group and be a part of that who group as well. That's free of charge as well. And in the hoop group, you can post pictures of the projects you've been waking, working on. A lot of folks have been working on rhinestone designs and bling shirts. What? The bling is insane in the group this week. It's like they're just showing it all. Zelda Ivy been showing off her bling. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. You got to go over there and see it for yourself because it's just, it's all the way live. All right. So I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us this evening. Now, one of the things that I do like to do on this channel if you've been here before, you already know. If you haven't, I like to say hi to the folks who are joining us this evening. I'm going to be try to be pretty quick because we got a lot to do tonight. But I'm going to take about three, four minutes to go ahead and say hi to the folks that are in the chat. And I'm just going to be scrolling real fast because y'all been already talking. And I love it because we family, y'all. So y'all saying hey to each other and all that cool jazz. And I love it. So that's what's up. And if you love your crafty family over here, the baby's booty, throw some purple hearts in the chat because I want to see how much you love each other. 
it's just gonna make me so happy tonight patricia johnson hey honey welcome thank you for joining us regina cartwright is in the house welcome bonita neely hey bonita how are you welcome cheryl tisdale hey honey welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member kingsbury crafts hello welcome <laughs> stay unique print wear too hey honey welcome thank you for joining us this evening kevin moore that's what's up hey kevin welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member as well chris smith in the house with all the pretty deer hanging out in her backyard y'all i'm jealous i'm like i want to be like uh cinderella and have all the animals coming to see me but i can't be like chris smith i can't because she up there on the cliff by herself so we got to give her a shout out hey chris smith honey bunny welcome and thank you for being a youtube Hoop group member, Marilyn, making with Marilyn's in the house over there being super bling-tastic with all her gorgeous bling. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member and for sharing your live with us. We like seeing you live. It's fun. <laughs> uh, Sheila, hi, Sheila Cushionberry. Welcome. Thank you for joining us, my dear. Always a pleasure to see you. Nicole Reeves, welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member as well. Time you welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member as well, my dear. She's my photographer, y'all. Got to have the best. It's just that posing and everything. I love it. Uh, Shirley Dabney, hey honey, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. Andrea Ross, hello honey, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. Tamika Cole, hey honey, welcome. Patricia Johnson, hello, welcome uh barbara bonaparte hey honey welcome sandra lewis crafty sassy queen hello welcome anita omer welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member patrice williams hey honey buddy welcome and thank you as well for being a youtube hoop group member we have inspiration creations from canada hey honey welcome thank you for joining us this evening from all the way up yonder Regine's Design, hello, welcome, and thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. We also have Just Seems Right, Linda Woods Brown. Hello and welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, we have Deborah Garrett, hello, the Dainty Doer. Hey, honey, welcome. We have C. Cynthia's, hey, honey, <laughs> welcome. Rosalind Mepplebean, hello, welcome, and thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, let's see, we got Nalaja Nini. Welcome, honey bunny. Patricia Johnson, welcome, honey. She says, as soon as one buy-in ends, I start looking forward to the next one. I know, right? We be trying to get them in, girl. Saving that money. D Ashley, hey honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member as well. Dorica Green, hello, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yvonne Hudson, hello. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop group member, along with Mary Brown. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. We appreciate the support of our channel. Gail Moore, hey, honey, welcome. <laughs> um, let's see, D. Ashley, Sandra Hobbs, hello, welcome. Miss Crafty Creations, hello. Adrian Daniels, hello. The, um, I said the Dainty Doer, sorry. Kirsten, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Sonya Siegler. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Sharon Davenport's in the house. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We have Gina Goins. Hello. Erica Chamberlain. Hello. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Marianne. Hello, honey. Welcome. How are you? Thank you for joining us this evening. Calatrice B. Tracy Murray. The Murray Effects. Theodore Williams. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So crafty. Hey, Honey Bunny, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And tell the hubby I said hello. Shonda Smiles-Willis, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well, and welcome. Diana Henderson, hello. Elvina Wood, hello. Miss Barb Lafon, hi, Honey. Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Miss Sister Man, Sister Mom Juno, welcome. Candace B.I.C. Designs, hey, Honey welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member as well l nicole is a youtube hoop group member thank you sherelle green hello precious pieces hey honey welcome thank you for joining us t johnson is a youtube hoop group member thank you beverly smith is a youtube hoop group member thank you and ruji hey honey welcome and thank you as well for being a youtube hoop group member michelle anderson welcome thank you for joining us darcy camarato welcome 
and thank you for being a YouTube hoop group member. All right, you guys. So I'm going to craftable things. Hey, honey. Sorry. Welcome. Thank you for my design and thank you for being a YouTube hoop group member. Creations by Kaisha. Welcome and thank you as well for being a YouTube hoop group member. So many of you guys. Oh my gosh, I love y'all. Um, so we are going to get into a lot of cool stuff. Hey, Edna's Essence, welcome. Cheryl Sampson, welcome. Thank you for joining us. EJ's daughter, my love, welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, I received, I saw a message. Hold on, where did it go? I just saw a big, no, 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 no. this way, this way. Nope, nope, this way, this way. There it is. I received my rhinestone yesterday. Love the colors. I have these colors from other places. I had to get these because your stones are totally different from others. Thank you. We appreciate that. We source the best because this is the thing, you guys. Yeah, there's this is a buy-in. This is a buy-in so that L, well, actually, hold on. L Lynch, welcome. Thank you for being a new member. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and we ring the bell for cool announcements around here. So just let you know that. Stay unique printwear too. Welcome. Holla. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, but we wanted to let you guys know that, yes, this is a buy-in. Yes, it's for rhinestones, hot fix rhinestones. We created the buy-in for those of you who are trying to establish a business and wanted to add rhinestones to your business. In a lot of instances, when you would source rhinestones in the past, it could there were some wholesale pricing, but it wasn't like a business wholesale pricing. So what we wanted to do is I found an awesome source for rhinestones that were just absolutely brilliant, like top-notch quality brilliant look i mean it's just this is the thing when you're trying to make money from people and you're making shirts for your customers you want your shirts to stand out from the rest up and above over anything else they can get anywhere else because they can go and get some rhinestone shirts now from walmart i saw some rhinestone shirts in city trends i mean there are other companies out there that are selling shirts with rhinestones on them but you want yours to look great. First of all, you're customizing. That's already top notch and going to be awesome for your customer. But second of all, when your customer's like, oh, well, I mean, I don't want to pay this much for a shirt. Okay, well, guess what? Listen, Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. You can't get this, this bling. This is the finer thing. You can't get this bling anywhere else. I mean, I'm just saying, you, you got the, if you want the best, you got to pay for the best. I'm just saying. So you got to let the folks know on that level and take them out in the light and blind them. You know, mess with their retinas a little bit. Put your shades on, but then, you know, like, bling, 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 and then it'll tear them up. And they'll be like, oh, I can't, I can't resist. I got to have it. And, you know, and just that's how you suck them in. So that is the purpose of the buy-in. Now, the buy-in, for those who may not know what a buy-in is, that is when we order our stones from the manufacturer directly okay so the manufacturer is not local the manufacturer is overseas so what we do is i say hey who wants rhinestones and i put a long list on our website that says here's all the stones that you can order and if you want these stones let me know what you want this is what you want okay cool pay for your stones and then we take all of these orders get all the tally of what everybody wants and then I send that order over to the manufacturer and I'm like, hey, pass them up, give up the goods. This is what the people want. And then they send me what you order, not me giving a big blanket order and order a whole bunch of inventory that I'm going to have to keep in a warehouse somewhere and pay warehouse fees and pay employees to go do all that. Yeah, no, nah, uh -uh, nah, fam, no, nah, fam. That's not how this is going to work. Because if I have to pay for all of that, then I can't help you save money. Right. So we keeping the overhead low and we're just all buying in together. And then when they send the stones, we package them all nice and pretty in our ice boxes and we send them to you so that they're ready for you to use right there on the spot. That is what the buy in is. So because we have to wait, I put in the order. In some instances, we would have to have the stones like the AB stones. They actually have to be coded at the time that I place the order. That's not like something they keep on the shelf because they're kind of pricey. So we have to get them to coat them and then they have to fill the other orders for all the other songs 
and then ship them to us. So all of that process can take and go through customs twice, customs overseas and customs here. So all of that can sometimes take up to or a little beyond 30 days. So unfortunately, I know sometimes people are like, well, I don't see the stones yet. I get it, but we got to wait on them to get here. And trust and believe, I don't want your stones here. I want your stones with you because I want you to make money, not me. I'm not making money if it's sitting over here at my house. So as soon as those stones get here, we package them and get them the heck out of here as fast as we can, okay? Like I said, though, this week I got doctor's appointments. But at any rate, that's how that process works. So just to give you a um, upfront and let you guys know how all of this works, and that's pretty much what that goes with. So in all saying all of that, I want you to be able to make money. So one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, one of the designs that I found and came across and um, is from one of my favorite designers. Um, I do have quite a few designers that I do source my rhinestone designs from, even though I'm starting to add make it with Maryland and craftable things, you know, because their designs are awesome as well. Um, but one of my original rhinestone designers, I wanted to show you guys something that she came up with so that you can see something that I've been trying to tell you guys for a while. Okay. And a little bit more information will come down the pipes because Mr. McQuackens and I are putting together some other information for you guys as far as trademark infringements and all of that cool stuff. But with your rhinestones, you can make money. Okay. You can make really decent money. All right. And so we're going to get into that just a little bit. So one of the first things I want to show you guys is what is this season? You're coming into a huge season right now. And you may think, oh, yeah, holidays. Mm, no, this season is almost a lot of, as far as rhinestones is concerned, I feel like this particular season is bigger than the holidays. And let me show you what season I'm talking about. Okay. So here is my favorite designer right here. This is my file addiction. Um, she has awesome designs. I don't get any kickback for telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this because I love her designs. Her designs generally cut out absolutely perfectly. Very rarely have I ever heard of an issue with her file. And if she finds out about an issue, she will fix it and send you the updated file. That's just how awesome she is. She is also awesome enough to offer all of her designs, not only in just regular formats, but she does the SVG for Cricut and the Brothers Scanning Cut as well. Unfortunately, Cricut can be tripping when you bring in a rhinestone design with them. Sometimes they will resize it um, without you realizing it. So they, she has formatted all of her designs and includes a Cricut friendly, Brothers Scanning Cut friendly um, version of the exact same file. So let us go to right here, shop pre-designed layout. No, no, I want what's new. Let's go to what's new. Okay. And this is the pre-designed layouts I was talking about. So let's click there. All right. So again, this is myfileaddiction.com. Drop it in the chat so that you, oh, Sheila Cushion Bear was on it. She already had it. Okay. So here are her new designs. Now, again, this is the season. This is a season. This is one of the biggest rhinestone seasons that I am getting ready to show you and how you can capitalize on it. So let's scroll down. And I want you to look at this design right here. I'm going to make it bigger just for the heck of it. Because this is the design I bought. And we're going to actually bling this if I have time tonight. So this is team name. This is fan. It's got a what? Football. Y'all football season is massive football season is massive okay so you got your football and then you got you some chucks all right we like chucks we like chucks you don't have to have the logo of the team for people to know who you talk hold on hold on hold on hold on because y'all y'all need to y'all need to see my face you need to see my face you don't have to have the team logo, which is trademark. 
you don't have to have the team logo on the shirt in order for it to sell and you make money period you don't have to people don't pay these folk no attention oh i want the team logo blah 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 and make more no no honey you can go to jail off that mess i'm not going to jail i'm not getting no infringement nothing coming to my house let a black vans and people trying to take my stuff you can take this shirt and wear it and people will know exactly who you talking about okay don't play me so take this rhinestone design make it work let's go back to it because i just i need y'all to see this because this is i'm serious how hard is it to color this shoe well okay first off this is like a green zircon ish color right here but this little off green what's one of the first teams you gonna think of when you see that what's one of the first teams? i'm not even a football person and i already got a team in mind right now in the south that that could work for who would that work for who knows you can't copyright colors exactly maryland the dolphins i'm looking at the dolphins right here tell me that ain't their color and if you really wanted to, you know, um, 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 you can up that a little bit more by outlining it with the second part of their team color. Well, ain't it orange? Yeah, it's orange. So you could even outline it with the hyacinth or the sun, sun preferably. And the pe people, people will already know who this is, right? Okay, then if you wanted to, you can put a team name up here in this plain font that isn't like a, you know, the actual, the way they do their team name, but you can do that, all right? But you don't have to, but you can, yes, team name. And that'll kind of take it to the next level. Then if you want to even go even further, the rhinestone mechanic, like I showed y'all a couple of weeks ago, I'm gonna have to put that in the description because that's not there, I forgot about that one. You can do the big jersey numbers on the back of the favorite team player you got. Homie, come on, same colors, you can do it. So what if the customer's like, oh, I don't like chuck tennis shoes because i'm like bro we even got the high tops what you ain't you ain't a tennis shoe you ain't a tennis shoe heifer okay i'll tell you what boom here we go we got you some heels honey now see i can't wear the heels because <laughs> 46 years old these feet just ain't made for it no more it just ain't but if you want them young teeny boppers and you you can strut in that kind, okay there you go same principle same thing same thing you can even go super fancy. Look, she got a little stiletto with the little rose and a little ball up the side with the little team there. I have this one. I made that shirt for my mom. So here you have options. Or you ain't even got to have no shoe. You might not be a shoe person. Just a girl who loves the and the team name up there. You see what I'm saying? So there are ways to make it work. And she has, what is this? One, two, three, four, five six different designs that could work for you so nine dollars a design i'm gonna just go for kicks because y'all know i hate math and round it up to 10 bucks a design and you're looking looking at a 60 dollar investment and you can cover a wide range of folks who love football and their favorite football team because i kid you not i don't care where i go what bar i go into tgi fridays chilies any one of those types of establishments they got the sports thing and the sports people and folks are in there wearing that sports shirt and you go in there and find you in a certain area that you live in and there's a crowd of these folks and wear your bling shirt see if you don't get some questions see if you will get some head turns see if you don't get you know an offer how can i get one of those shirts okay and like I said, see Cynthia, she does have coupons. Uh, usually, here it is, automatic discounts over a certain amount. So yes, there are ways to make money off of these. Now, this brings to another point. Now, I cover this in detail, a lot more detail in the class. And I actually give you um, a formulation that does help. But in the bling up class, we will really be going into pricing. But just to give you a little snippet of how we look at things, one of your main things that you want to consider when you're pricing a shirt is the total amount of stones in the design. 
Okay, this is almost 3,000 rhinestones. If you've already taken my class, you know how many gross you're going to need off gate in order to do this one shirt. Okay, you know how many gross. So you have to take that into consideration, the amount of gross that you're buying and how much it's costing you. Then look at the retail cost of those stones because you're not paying retail, hunty. We got you paying business wholesale. Okay, wore, this, wore one this week and got stopped in the store for an order. It works. It works. And the stones are made. They're, the bling is so hard, it has to catch attention. You know, you're going to get haters looking at Because when I wear my bling, sometimes people are like, mm, look at her being all flashy. And, okay. So, you have to look at the amount of stones. Consider that. You also have to look at what stones you're putting in that shirt. Because, like, these are, you know, kind of, I don't want to say basic colors, but these are your basic colors. We do have some more premier colors. Like, the Violet Ice is a very expensive stone, even for your girl, because she be sweating every time y'all place an order for that Violet Ice. But the Violet Ice is a pricey stone. So, the same price that you're pricing this shirt for, if they want that Violet Ice, thank goodness there is no Violet teams that play with a lavender color. Uh, but anyway you would charge more because those stones cost more, okay? So you got to take that into mind. Then it's getting colder. So they're going to be wanting a hoodie instead of a t-shirt. You see where I'm going with that? A hoodie costs way more than a t-shirt. Hoodie is about 10 bucks if you buy it wholesale from a uh, shirt distributor. So, and depending upon the brand because Bella Canvas costs way more than Gildan. So you have to take all of that into consideration when you are pricing your order. But that's just to give you a snippet of some things that you want to consider, but we do break it down a little better for you in the class, okay? So here are some ways you can make money. So we're gonna cut this one out right here, team name fan. And I wanna show you guys something um, as well, okay? So let me stop sharing for the time being and then we will switch over to, well, we'll still be sharing the screen. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Cricut. But I got to make sure this one file is extracted. Oh, I didn't even download it. Okay. Let me download this one file and then we'll get to it. So if you have had folks stop you other than uh, coming to find out, you guys, our rhinestones are not TSA friendly. So just keep that in mind when you are, you know, carrying rhinestones with you because you want to bling while you're on vacation or away from home. You know, you might get stopped and patted down for TSA thinking that you're actually smuggling diamonds. So just keep that in mind. It, we've had two folks stop, um, you know, testing the rhinestones and everything. So, you, 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 you know, be safe. Okay, I didn't expect that. My bad. Uh, but the bling does go hard. Okay, it does go hard. So you got to keep that in mind. Okay, so let me get this file downloaded because what we're going to do is we are actually going to edit a rhinestone design in a way. And I want to show you how that works because um, someone asked to um, how would they edit. And so we're going to edit just a little itty bitty bit. Um, let me see. File request. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I want. I want this one. Here we go. All right. So if you've been stopped asking um about purchasing, I got stopped at RDU Airport with your bling tea. <sighs> I am so sorry, my dear. That was that's never our intention is to have folks stop because they bling is hard. It's not until TSA. We can do airport shirts too, if you would like. All right. So why does that say too? That's not what I want, but I'm going to go with it. All right. So what we're going to do is go silhouette first. Okay. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. But what I was asking, if I didn't get it out yet, is if you've ever been stopped 
for someone seeing your shirt and asking you if you can make one or where you get it from, put it in the chat. Let us know. Because there is a market for it and a way for you to make money. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, that's done. No, that's done. Let's do that and extract. Okay. All right. She said her tea. Sorry, what mine? Okay, no worries. Okay, so let us close out. I heard a click. Let us open up Silhouette. Linda, they are available, honey. Let's share screen. Share screen. Oh, craftable things. I know you get swamped with your shirt orders all the time. I don't understand, ma'am. They be bombarding you. Okay, so here is Silhouette Business Edition. Okay, this is Business Edition. Hey, passionately intrigued arts. Welcome. So what we are going to do is use Silhouette Business Edition to bring in a rhinestone design, make any changes we may or may not want um, because you are not as easily able to edit designs in Cricut Design Space. So that's what we're going to use Silhouette for right now. Um, also, Silhouette Design Space will also help you um, confirm that what size your design is supposed to be and all of that jazz and some other changes that you can make that we do go over in our Bling class. So let us um, go ahead and bring in the football design that I wanted to do. So I'm going to open and here is the low top football fan. Um, and then here is the uh, one for cricket and brother. So I'm going to bring in the, let me bring in the football fan so that you guys can see the difference first. Okay. I want you to see what the difference is. So let us grab the zoom thingamabobby and we're going to zoom out. All right. So when you bring in the non cricket design space file, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get team name fan, the entire design right here already done so that you can see what it looks like with all the pieces together. Then right here, you'll get the one color part. And here is the second color. Okay. So wait a minute, I'm missing something. I'm missing. Let me look at this design. Nope, that's all of it. So where I need the white laces, where is that at? We may have to use that. Yep, this is the outline. My bad. Okay, sorry. It's three parts. Most A lot of your rhinestone designers will give you the entire design all in one, all three in one first, then give you the three separate layers. So you wind up with four layers. But in this instance, she didn't do it. And I'm, I'm appreciative of that because a lot of times they do it and it's kind of redundant. But at any rate... Here is the white layer, here is the color layer, and here is your trim layer, whatever color you want that to be. And of course, foot files is going to be coffee or smoke topaz, but I like coffee. And then she also gives you the letters so that you can spell out the team name in the right size that the team name is supposed to be. How thoughtful is that? All right. So here is what it looks like. Now, all of this coming into Cricut Design Space um will be kind of messy for Cricut Design Space because Cricut is going to bring this in um with all of these circles individual and all of that jazz and it's just going to be chaos. We don't want that whereas if we bring in the one that says Cricut Brother and open it up it's actually um she has it the opposite. You can't see it because of how she has it cut out but it's not a bunch of all of these circles are going to line down the thing. It's not going to be like that. It'll be different. Okay. So, and she tells you exactly how big your file is supposed to be so that when you bring it into Cricut, it'll measure properly. All right. So this is what you're looking at. Um, I wish it would have shown better, but it didn't. But this is what you're dealing with when you are bringing it over into Cricut. It's a different file size. Let's see if we can't open it up in Cricut and make the difference. Let's close this out. Okay. 
So the new Caesar Cutler off of Rhinestone Template Ops. Um, so JL Butler, I'm not sure yet. Um, according to my Caesar, um, Leonardo is the name of the software. According to him, Leonardo will have the rhinestone option. It's just that they're finalized testing of it and everything before importing it into the software. That's what I was just told, um, the other day. So whether or not how quickly it's going to come. I don't know. I can't unfortunately answer that part. Um, but that is what the situation was. Why am I having an issue? Okay. We're going to let silhouette be a pain in the background because it's, it's not wanting to close. So anyways, all right, hopefully I won't crash my computer. Let's go to new project and we'll upload and I'm going to upload image. We're going to browse. And we're going to go to downloads. And we're going to go to football. And we're going to grab the quick, the larger file. And let's click open. Now, not shirt I wore. And I have a three grandma shirt order. That's what's up, girl. I'm trying to tell you. All right, so let's click on Add to Canvas and see if it behaves. And constantly asked about my baby's booty bling and have gotten several sales. That's what's up, so crafty. So if you notice here, um, she has actually joined all of this. Let's see if that's the case. Let's ungroup. All right, and then we will go to, I'm going to start with this one because it's a smaller one. And she's actually grouped everything now. So it's not separate like it used. Well, actually, it's, it is separate still. So here she grouped the dots so that it's easier to import into the software. So you don't have the individual dots in Cricut, but it's not a part of the box that's around it anymore. So you could now um actually join all of this together and then um you should have been able to slice that in order to get it to um cut better but she's changed it so now when you um when you add all of these oh there we go it's such a big file that's why it's glitching like it is but this allows you to add your letters okay Hey, T-shirt chick. Welcome. Hey, Merlinda Lacey. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. And hey, Bates Custom Creations. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, Bates Custom Creations. The link to Marilyn's channel is in the description. If you want to go to, not her channel, her Etsy shop. It is in the description. All right. So here is the non-cricket file. Let's go back and find the cricket file. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's take all of this out, actually. That's just, that's a lot. All right. So we'll upload. Go to downloads. She's been making some changes, y'all. I ain't been keeping up with her changes that she's been making. Okay. So let's upload. And the entire thing, she has the dimensions on there. Hey, uni, honey bunny. Um, so the entire design, as she says, should measure 32.968 inches wide. And if you look up here at the size, it does show 32.968. So that lets you know it is the right size coming into the uh, Cricut design space. So that's good. Um, and she has it it's separate still. So there's been a lot of changes made, y'all. I'm at the loop apparently, but some of the older designs will have a um difference. So let us slice this. So I grab the front from the back and we're gonna slice it only because otherwise I would attach and I'll show you what it looks like when you attach. Maybe doing too much, y'all, because my thing is lagging now. <laughs> and I ain't even cut it out yet. 
Patrice gonna get me because I ain't cut up. Oh. Did cricket just crash? Cricket just crashed. That's what happens when you put too much in the cricket. Let's see. You know, we can't get through a um live without something going crazy. Because even my silhouette is tripping. Look, silhouette won't close down. These files are big. People don't realize all of those small circles actually use a lot of memory to work with in your computer programs. That's why it's better to have them changed for lack of better words. Um, and we teach how to do that in the class. Make each section part into a compound. Right now, I can't do anything because it froze up on me. Because I even have your shirt that, I mean, your design that I need to cut out. Right. So to do that, to take it to Cricket would have made it easier, but Cricket just kind of gave up because she be tripping. Cricket is a, is a testy heifer and that's just how she is. But I can't get my Silhouette Studio to let me see if I can't. Hold on. Let's do something that risque. This is risque. There we go. Hotler. That's one way to do it. Okay. So let's go back to curry cut. Hey, girl. Why you crash on me, girl? It wasn't necessary, girl. It wasn't necessary. Okay. I know. I say changes was lost. I know, girl. I appreciate you at least letting me know. All right. So let's go to new project and see if... Okay. So the upload is still there. Here is the second one. Let's go with the safe one. So we won't have issues. All right. So what I'm wanting to do when I'm cutting this out is I wanted to add a ribbon for breast cancer. Okay. That was the plan. Now, whether or not I do that now, I don't know because I don't want to crash the program again. But I do want to see how big the ribbon is. I think I know it's four inches tall, but I need to see how wide it is and if it will even fit in this design. So I'm going to open this up, go back into my downloads. And here's the ribbon here. I'm going to grab the Cricut Brother one. And we're going to upload. And I'm going to add that to the canvas too. Okay. So, yeah, no, it's too big. I was trying to see if I could fit it right in there. So we're going to have to do this one separate. We're going to do this one separate. Okay. I'm going to take that off. But ordinarily, if it was small enough to fit, what I could have done is let's ungroup that. What I could have done is grab this black box and made it bigger, okay, and then added that to the template after cutting this out of the template. Now, I don't want to slice it again because if I slice it again, it'll, it might crash it. So we're going to go ahead and just attach, okay? Now, I know it disappeared, and you're like, oh, my God, I attached it, and now it's gone. I said the same thing. But let's go up here to the black, and we're going to grab a light color. And if you grab the light color, you can see your holes are still there. Okay? So let's do the same thing with our other, our other, that was too much. There we go. All right. Even though I should not have attached that. Now I think about it. Because now it's going to say team name. So hold on. Let's undo that. Color change and undo the attach. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to grab a square. And I'm going to take that square. And I'm going to grab. Whoop, not this. Let's unlock it. Now we're going to drag it across. And take that off. So I'm going to grab the gray square. And I'm going to grab the shoe part. Not the black design, but that part. And then we're going to slice. Hey, 2011 Miss Max. And hey, Procoro. 
All right, do this slice. There we go. There we go. All right, that was smaller, so it didn't kill us too bad. So we're going to take team name away. I'm going to take that team name away and take that team name away. And now I just have this blank box, okay? So I'm going to go with this. Let's go down. And I'm going to grab an R. Then I'm going to grab an A. And I'm going to grab an M. And I'm going to grab an S. So make my mom a new shirt. Unless I go to watch my cousin son play college ball. All right. So to make things a lot easier on cricket. Oh my gosh, girl. Why is you tripping? Tripping. Go back up and go back over. There we go. As you see, it's glitching because it's just it's so much for Cricket to take in. So I'm going to delete that because it's just it's overwhelming Cricket. And then I'm going to take this off because we already confirmed the size. And I'm going to grab this Rams and I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to put it at the top of this design so that it will fit where that one did and let's do this let's grab that we're gonna grab the bottom one and we're going to align it centered nope that did not work omg i wasn't paying attention okay let's grab these 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 and these and we will weld it together all right now we're going to center this align align center and there we go it's perfectly centered Grab this box and move it up just a smidgety smidge. And now we're going to attach everything. Then we're going to change the color. And there we have our template. Then we have this one. We need to attach this as well. Now, before you attach this, if you want it to be more conservative with your rhinestone flock, you can actually resize the box at this point. Um, to make it where you don't use up as much flock, but that's if you are a um, miser with your flock like I am. I don't like to waste my flock, which technically is not a waste, but we teach about that in the class as well. Um, but let's grab both of these and we're going to attach that as well. I'm going to change that color so that you can see that. And then let's come over to this one and I'm going to change the size of this box as well because, you know, we ain't wasting no space around here. And we're going to move this over and up and I'm going to attach that. Okay, and let's change that color so the Cricut don't be like, oh my God, I got to cut two different colors. Nah, girl, we cut the same color. All right, so here you go. Here are our... Um, three templates that we need to cut out in order to bling this design for my mom. So when she goes to see him play next week, she will have a Rams fan shirt on and it is a sapphire-ish royal blue color. So our inside of our word fan and our shoe will be royal blue and it will be outlined in, knowing me, I'll probably do Labrador, but it could be crystal because it's like a blue and white color. And then, because next weekend is their breast cancer weekend um, for the team plan, uh, we're going to put a pink ribbon on her shirt somewhere, probably on the sleeve now that I think about it. So we're going to use um, some of our colors. We are offering the rose treat as um, a part of our promotion this month for the buy-in. So the rose treat is available, the purple power treat and deluxe is available um, for our buy-in this month. But, and let me make sure I get this right because Mr. Cor Mr. McQuackens corrected me, but it was a dollar. Okay, so $2 from every sale will go to the Breast Cancer Foundation, but we are also going to add $5 from every rose collection that sells and add that in with it too, okay? So that's going to be contributed at the end of the buy-in, which the end of the buy-in is the 11th. 
Um, so you have a week and a day for the buy-in. And once the buy-in is over the next day, we will make that contribution and you guys will get to see the certificate for that. So I'm super excited. Um, but that is going to the Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, and that's in the newsletter if you haven't read that yet. So let's go ahead and cut this out. So let's click on make it. All righty. So our first one, this is almost a 12 by 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a 12 by 12 piece. The next one is nine by nine. And this one is, I'm going to say 11 by seven. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get our um, pieces ready. We're going to cut this out on prints. Okay. Because Picasso still is acting monkey and cutting my circles is ovals and we ain't having that. So we're going to use prints to cut this out. Next, we're going to open up our design from uh, Craftable Things, our Crafty Little Thing shirt, and we'll work on blinging that as well. And um, let's get our camera up. That's what I was trying to say. Boom. Is the flock already over there? Yes, it is, girl. Yes, it is. Okay. So let us grab our mic first and foremost so that you can hear me and then we will cut our flock so the first one you remember i said was roughly about 12 by 12 and while it is cutting out we will look at some bling and we will look at something else we got um in the mail the other day so super excited to show that we're not going to play with it tonight we're going to schedule to play with it this week though okay so we are going to use rhinestone flock. Not everyone uh, wants to use rhinestone flock. I totally get that to save money. However, um, your rhinestone flock is, for lack of better words, the safer alternative because it's you're using it for what it's made for and it works great for your rhinestone projects. All righty. So here is our first part. The second one was, what did I say? 10 by 10, right? I'm double checking because we don't want to waste our flock. Uh, no, 9 by 9. And then the second one is, I'm going to say 12 by 7 because it'll be all right. No, because I'm going to use it for, yeah, 12 by 7. 12 by 7. 9 by 9. All righty, so... Let's do nine by nine. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Nine by nine. So we're going to cut this nine inches. That way this is already done. I don't have to stop and cut anymore until I get to cut. Patrice's template. All right. And then what did we say? 12 by 7. So I'm going to do the smaller number, which is 7, because we're already 12 inches wide. And boom. So we're ready to rock and roll. Actually, I'm going to cut that down one more time to the size 9 by 9, like we said before. And then I'm going to put the extra scrap in my scrap drawer so that I will have these for test cuts whenever I need to double check um, my test was setting all right so Tilly is already on even though I think Tilly might have reset itself yes yeah, she did there you go Tilly cut Tilly back on all righty and I like to cut my rhinestone templates with the backing on. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do. All right. And then I'll show you guys some pretty colors we got to play with tonight. All right. Make sure that your mat is nice and smooth and clean so that your um, cuts are nice and smooth when you put them on the machine. I guess it would help if I turned it on, wouldn't it? All right. So again, this is the largest 
part of the design, we will bling this first because it takes up the biggest. What? Oh, um, this is the biggest part of um, the design. So we want to make sure that this design um, centers on the shirt. So we're going to cut this one first, okay? All right, so while that's cutting, let's load and tell it to cut. And on my Cricut Maker, I know people ask all the time, and we go over this in the class as well. Um, they ask all the time, what setting do you use for your um, Cricut? A lot of that depends, you guys. It's not like one set uh, pressure. Golly, Prince, you kind of loud. My goodness. Okay. There's no like one set pressure to use. So um, I can recommend a setting, uh, but it's entirely up to you to check that setting and make sure that it's going to work with your um, machine. All right. So a couple of things uh, before we get into the rhinestones. Wanted to show you guys, we have been working with the laser cutter, the X tool, and we will be doing more projects with the X tool coming up. I will also be posting this week um, a video that I made unboxing the X tool and getting everything set up. But I wanted to show you guys, I have been having a whole ball in the background working with this X tool, man. And I just wanted you guys to see uh, what I've been doing with it. And let you know that we do have, you know, an affiliate link in the description if you're interested um, in getting one to play right along with us. So it is, uh, there is a link in the description. It's got the grandbaby's names on the hearts. How super cute is that? And eventually we're going to put the hearts um, on the family tree for the grandbabies. I'm so excited. y'all. But I have been having a whole ball, as you see. Um, cutting out all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, wood and cutting and all of this fun stuff. I'm super looking forward to doing more projects with you guys as the time goes. All right. And in addition to that, we're going to take a quick bling break. Okay. Quick bling break. This is unscripted and it wasn't in the plans, but... I want to give you a preview of what's to come this week, okay? So, give me a second to take care of getting this invoice out of here first, off the front of this thing, and then getting this taken care of. All righty. Get this invoice out of here, pack it and slip before I open up this box. Okay. All right. So here is our package. And I'll get yeah, I blocked out the address and stuff from Conde Systems. And you guys know we do a lot of sublimating around here and they have sent a new package. So that only lets me know that they got some cool new stuff to sublimate. So we're going to find us a day. I'm hoping, oh my gosh, with doctor's appointments and packing up orders, I'm hoping I can get to it this week, which is why I'm showing it to you now. Uh, but we're going to try to get a day together to um, sublimate some of this stuff. So I may need a stress-free day after fooling with the doctors all week, and we might be able to sublimate a little bit then. But that's the one. Unboxing. Yay! We like unboxings and show you what all goodies they sent. Now, this is sublimation. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick bring, bling break and show you some of the new stuff that they have over at dietrans.com, Conde Systems, um, to sublimate with. And like I said, we'll try and get, get some stuff done this week, okay. All right, so for starters, I haven't even, you saw me open this with y'all, so I don't even know 
everything that's in here just yet. So we got some uh, sleeves. So that lets me know. Heck yeah, we're going to be doing some tumblers. We like tumblers. So let's open that first. Let's see. Pull this out. Definitely look like a skinny tumbler. This one is item number TUM232. You see that? TUM232. All right. We got us our favorite skinty tumbler. Ooh, this is a long one. Oh my goodness. This looks bigger than the other one. Where is the other one at? Let's see. Right here. This is the one I'm used to. This size. Look, it's bigger. So yeah, a little bit taller, a little bit more drink. It's a little bit more drink. Looks a little smidge wider too. So this is a little bit bigger. So TUM232. Yas, hunty. So we're going to have to sublimate in steps on this one, I think. We'll see if it'll fit our new um, mug press kid. All right. And then we've got WB014. WB014. And... 30 ounce tumbler, hopefully. I did not do the homework and look this stuff up first. And this is super fat drink carrier that I'm probably going to have to carry with me this week to all these darn appointments. With, of course, the sippy, sippy slip right there and a hook to hook on. Or I can send it with my mom when she goes to the football game and put the Bluefield Rams on there. So, and it's got the little non-slip pad for the bottom. So that's super cool. That's a fat one though. And the mug press has an attachment that should fit that really well. Alrighty. And so here we have WB013. We're going to try and work with this week as well. I already got an idea for some of these, man. I'm excited. All right, so we got us a non-slip pad again. Oh, this is a little bitty one. Oh, stainless steel. So this is a smaller size, and it's stainless steel. Brushed stainless steel, it looks like. So we're going to find something to put on this as well, hopefully this week. What we're going to try and do. So this is new as well with the little sippy slip right there. Again, this is dietrans.com. Oh, Lord, I got ink all over me, Tara. Convection oven for tumblers. Um, you can grab one from a uh, heat transfer warehouse. They have one that's really nice and you can get it in pretty colors. Um, I know they had a purple one when I was there. Um, those are available. Or if you wanted to pick one up local, I think mine is the Hamilton Beach pizza oven convection pizza size pizza oven convection oven and it was like 75 bucks something like that got another little slippy pad and then this is the stainless steel uh, tapered tumbler super cute like the black swanky swanky okay okay so let's get a straw for this one so we'll have to get us a straw but this is stainless steel tapered. All right. So check the listing for this one to see if the straw comes with it. Because I don't have it. It could have been uh, come out of it or something. But this is TUM222. 222. Two, two. Two, two, two. Holler. 222. TUM222. Okay. So this is what we are going to have some fun with. Let's see what was in that other box. I don't think there's anything else. They packed that perfectly. And let's check this. because I don't know what this is. Grab some scissors. Hair messing with me. Sorry, y'all. Give me a sec. Okay. All righty. And in this envelope, and behind door number two. Ooh, cute. 
Can you sublimate then edge the stainless steel? Surely. Oh, etch. Um, you should be able to etch the stainless steel. I know we can with the uh X tool. Hey, let's give it a shot. We we bounce to find out, ain't we? Because the X tool does come with the rotary cup turner so that you can um etch your round thing. So let's see. Hey Alicia, welcome. So this one is U4934. So this is a cork backed coaster. So we can do that. And we got some jewelry boxes in here, y'all. Oh, there's the straw. I don't know why the straw was separate. Ta-da-da! We do have a straw. So the straw goes with the two, 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 T-U-M, two, two, two. Hey, two, two. Okay, so jewelry. This is PNWS10. WS10 is the model number of whatever is in this cute little box as a gift for your customers. Oh, hot lord. Hey, they know a heifer likes a little bit of drinkity drink. So we got us a wine cork, a uh, wine stopper. Super cute. So we're going to sublimate on that and then you adhere it and you can make this a nice gift. So these would make really nice gifts actually. So super excited for this one for obvious reasons all right and then we have tas 27 finally let's see what this is Ooh. oh it's a tassel super cute okay come through tassel that's gonna look real cute on my purse so it's a tassel <coughs> oh, excuse me Felt it coming. It couldn't ruin fast enough. So a black tassel. Super cute with the little uh, square medallion on the front so that you can sublimate. And let me show you something. Let me show you something. Where is that? Do I have it in here? I hope it's in here. If not, I know it shouldn't be far. Let me show you what that would be real cute with. I'm excited. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, Lord, y'all. I gave myself an hour to do this darn bling and i ain't even finished cutting out the template yet we might have to go over time oh my god hold on because it's not in here why it's not i don't oh there it is i'm gonna have to um figure out a link y'all to my girl but this is gonna be real cute on my new pocketbook look This was made by um, Boo Bunny Bag Company. Can you see what's on it? It's not bling, but I thought this was adorable. And it's a bunch of my favorite color. That's why it caught my attention. And then I saw what it actually was and super caught my attention. So this tassel, is my bag is black. The tassel is black. It's going to hang right there. Man, y'all, she made this bag and it was like the detail she did with this bag is just beyond amazing. So like the metal findings and stuff are all the rainbow color and the little the little tag. It's just, I mean, all of the details inside and out of the bag are just like perfect. I got a junkie bag, but it's going to look cute with my bag. In other words, that's all I was trying to say. It's going to be super cute. OMG. Okay. So that's enough. We want to thank Conde for sending us a bag of goodies to play with. And we will definitely try to our darndest to play with these this week. And sublimate some stuff. Sublimate some stuff. Holler. Sublimate some stuff. Okay. So let's put this up and let's look back at some stones. So that was a break from your sponsor, Condé Systems. All right. So Yas, hunty, Yas. Put that back. Okay, so back to our regularly scheduled program. So to... 
I was thinking that trans medical braces will work for the medical QR code I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. I got metal cuff bracelets and it's definitely big enough. And one thing's for certain, you know, it's a bracelet, so it should stay on. Um, and then uh, you wouldn't have to worry about it coming off. Whereas, like I was telling you guys before, you know, the seat belt thing would uh, come off, you know, when you get out the car. So, like, here's a couple of the metal bracelets cuff bracelets here's a brass cuff bracelet so yeah you definitely could do that here's another cuff bracelet this one is stainless steel thank you nicole reeves for the super sticker we appreciate the support man Woo! yas hunty yas thank you ma'am we appreciate the support and the love and here's a white cuff bracelet so yeah you definitely could Put a QR code there, especially on the bigger one. That would be nice. So, yeah, this is my uh, sublimation uh, box, goodie box. So whenever I have little quick stuff I want to sublimate to give as a gift, I try to keep it in that box. So bringing that out. So with the um, design that we have over there, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to do the outside in... I want to do Labrador, but I used Labrador the other day, so I don't know that this is enough. We'll see. Um, and then the blue right here is going to be for the Bluefield Rams. They are in West Virginia. The wide receiver is a relative. And then his brother plays on the team as well, but I cannot for the life of me remember what position he plays. And then here's the Lavender. You see the Lavender looks absolutely fantastic in there it almost looks like crystal but this is actually lavender uh, lavender oh my god labrador it's a metallic silver so it's not a crystal it's actually metallic and then for the breast cancer we've got some light rose here that we may do um or i think actually i'm leaning more towards rose because rose kind of you know really gives that pink so here's our rose which is you know i think going to be the better breast cancer color sharon davenport thank you so very much holler Woo! thank you ma'am holler and have a good night sharon davenport and to our you said 13 months holler Thank you, Sonya Sealer, for the support for 13 months, ma'am. And then Valerie E. Thank you. Holler. Yas, hunty. Yas, the love, the support. Thank you. We definitely appreciate it because we darn sure be blinging things and having fun and getting all kind of goodies to play with on the show. So we've got us uh, some rose, which is in the uh roses treat we got rose we've got light rose in that treat and then we have rose a b which is the rose color with the metallic coating um that gives it like an iridescent look effect type of effect okay but in that ribbon i think for the ribbon i'm gonna do probably the rose i gotta look at the pink and make a decision all right so aside from that, when we get Patrice's design cut out, um, I've got some other cool fall colors to play with. So like this is Jonquil SS6. It has like a light gold um, tone to it. So it could easily, like when Patrice used it on her shirt, I just knew that was gold. But it was Jonquil, right? And then we got us some Amethyst, which this is, too much in there this is amethyst which is a plum purple and then we got us some hyacinth which is a reddish orange and we got us some coffee we got us some coffee that we're gonna play with so we'll figure out which combination of these four that we'll use in ss6 for patrice's design my grandson said, tell Miss Holla good night. I told him Mr. is going to get you about his wife and plus you was six and broke. Don't come for that, baby. 
Hey, grandbaby. Don't come for that baby in his pockets. <laughs> Don't come for that baby in his pockets because guess where some of his pocket money come from? Okay. All right. So I don't come for that, baby. All right. And then we're going to play a little bit with, uh, this is Green Flame. I've been talking to you guys about some of these stones that have like two different colors to it. And this one is Crystal Volcano. Good night, Pamela Bradley White. You have a great night, my dear. All right. This is Crystal Volcano. So I just want to show you guys what that looks like. Um, when you are doing two different colors and we also have blue flame which is a favorite of mine because of the different colors it reflects and then we have some green flame as well and rainbow actually and rainbow this is rainbow all right so hopefully we can manage to get to all of this i'm running out of time real quick all right and we in and uh Prince is up there still cutting, y'all. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So let me actually, I do have some samples over here of what did I do? There they are. Of some colors already pressed. And I let's see if I can't. I turned, I unplugged it. Let's see. Let me see if we can't get you guys some extra light. It's like this is green flame. Well, you might can see it. It's green flame. So this is the green flame. And as you see, it's green, right? But let's turn it. And you can see other colors come to play. All right. You see that purple? Oh, look at that purple, y'all. Oh, my God. I thought it was green. Oh, my God. It was green. Guess what? It ain't green no more. See that? Turn it this way. I thought it was pink and purple. What color is that? It's like a gold. What the world? Yas, hunty. Yas. Yas, hunty. So, you have the rainbow. I absolutely love how this stone turns into three, four different colors. Okay. So this is green flame. The main color is green. All right. But when you get the twisting and turning, that joker turns all kinds of other colors, right? So let's find the blue flame one. Here we go. This is blue flame. See, there's your blue, right? And then when you turn it, you got other colors look at it as a gold all right the purple is in there somewhere there we go there's some purple right in there you can see the purple there's some purple so this is blue flame so just like when you see that blue flame that gas flame when you cutting on the fireplace or lighting the gas pit and that blue light, that blue flame comes up and then you see some other colors in there. That's what your blue flame is. All right. So there's green flame, but then there's also blue flame. And like you see straight on, it looks um, their main color. So let's see, where is my, because I put it on white as well, just so that you can see what that looks like on white. I need to do better with my samples. And having them in the order that's blue flame again okay so here we got our green flame on white it doesn't stand out quite as much as the black does but it does look good Okay. So you can put it on white and get a similar effect, but all right. Oh yeah, the gold orange can kind of mess with you a little bit too. Is this the blue flame? No, this is the green flame. Yeah, that's green flame too. So that didn't do the white on the blue flame. Let me double check. I need to make, oh yeah, I did. 
need to make bigger samples. And here's the blue flame. Okay. So I know there's other, we also have, um, yeah, that gold orange is busting. We also have um, Rainbow, which has this similar effect, and Crystal Volcano. I don't have those pressed, but I can um, show them to you. That's the gold orange. It's mainly gold, but you reflect it certain ways. You can see that orange as well in there. So mm -hmm. it can kind of give you a copper feel in a way look at that 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 bussing what holler blinging thank you barbara bonaparte Woo! holler have a good night ma'am i hope you get plenty of rest and i hope you wake up refreshed in the morning here is gold orange on the black So there's the gold orange. Look at that. 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 Come on, son. Come on. All right. So we do have some of the, you know, we do have the iridescent colors um, that will show through, but we did not. I don't have a sample for Crystal Volcano nor the rainbow, so I definitely want to show that. And let's see how much Prince got as far as cricket is concerned. Holler, boy, we did good timing on that because it's saying 100% right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab some mats so that I can um, put my cutout template. Oh, yeah, Kevin Moore, the black. I, I recommend black heavily for rhinestones. Yes, you can use other colors, but that black is what's up. Um, I don't have the silver on a uh, shirt, but that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Oh, I had the lid on it. Okay. But I do have, I'm getting ready to use it on a, um, on the template though. So I'm definitely going to show that, but here's some, I hope I got enough right here with me, but this is the silver. Uh, maybe, but right now I'm going to use what we got so let's whoops wrong thing i did not mean to push that okay so here is our template and as you see when you have it this is the other reason i like leaving it on the back is as marilyn pointed out in her video um if you pull this off of the sticky mat it will hold on to your flock, but it'll also hold on to the dots, which is a good thing because it kind of weeds the flock for you. But the bad thing is it also holds on to the flock. So as you're pulling it off, it can stretch it. And then when you go to line up different layers of your template, they won't line up properly. So if you leave it on the backing, it won't stretch your flock. Okay. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it you know, with the backing off. Um, and it can be more of a pain to do it with the backing on because sometimes all the dots don't cut out properly. But as long as you, I try to like smooth it down and keep it nice and steady on a mat that's not super bumpy. Um, clean out my uh, blade holder every so often and then, you know, go for it again, okay? So let us press go for the second layer. And while the second layer is cutting, we'll work on getting this layer mounted and brushed. Hopefully you heard that Prince turn. Okay. Prince was loud. My goodness. Oh, you know what? I meant to keep this. I'm going to keep this for uh, test cuts. I'm just going to put this right here boop, and cut this right here. Boop. Okay. 
gonna do with that trash bag. Okay. Now. What color did I use for the football? Um, I'm going, my plan is to use coffee. Uh, but I haven't used the color just yet. I know um, Marilyn used coffee. Now, smoked topaz would work as well um, because it's a darker brown. But, of course, it's all entirely up to you and how you like your stuff. And there are different color footballs out there. So, as you see, there are some stones, uh, some holes that didn't come with the that didn't get stayed behind, that did not get left behind. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to take my time and peel them off. Although this is not my favorite part, but I prefer doing this than scraping dots. Okay. Cause I don't, I'm not a fan of the little dots staying stuck to me and touching me. You know, you would think I'd be over that by now because of doing bling so much, but you yeah, know, don't, don't stick to me in space. Stuff. I don't like that. All right. Enough of my idiosyncrasies. Let's see. So, da, 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 da. there are some dots there. There are some dots there. Okay. So, let's get these three. One, two, three. All right. And here's some here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, keep in mind, y'all, this template had almost 3,000 stones in it. So, 3,000 minus these, what's this, about 20 stones, 20 holes that I'm picking off. You know, that's an okay trade-off. I'm all right with just these few, okay? But you got to do a test cut to make sure that the cardboard setting with more pressure is going to work this well for you or maybe too well. Because you also don't want it cutting your mat, okay? All right, so here's another dot. I'm double checking, double checking, and one more right here. All right, and that looks like it, okay? So again, I want this. This is the outline. So I want it to be in silver. Now, when I do my templates, I put them on these chopping mats from Dollar Tree, all right, to come to a pack for no longer a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Um, but I use the dull side, not the shiny side, okay? Because the tape sticks better; it has better adhesion to the shiny side than it does the dull side. So I don't want the tape sticking to my mat. I want it sticking to my stones only and it's easy to peel out, okay? So let's lay this down and I'm gonna smooth it out. Alrighty, boom, just like that. And I'm gonna trim it down so it makes it easier for me to store it. And I can use this for small um, templates. Like for instance, for instance, if you want to do this design for your studio and make money off of it, right? We talked about this already. I put the word Rams up here, but you could save this type scrap for Panthers or Jaguars or Eagles or Bears. Like you could use this little strip and then you just don't bling Rams, just bling that and then add it later. You see what I'm saying? So you can do that. So save your scraps. And here we go. Here is the um, shoe, the football laces, stripe, the outline for the word fan, and the rams. Now, as I mentioned, this particular college, the color is white and uh, royal blue. Okay, so I'm going to, instead of using crystal or instead of the neon white, I'm going to actually use Labrador. And it looks like I should have enough. So I'm going to pour this all out and we just going to roll with it and see how it goes. Let me grab my brush. Okay, and your bling brush, your bling brush you can um, grab from Walmart in the paint section, paint brushes section, or you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and grab you a paint pad brush 
and use that. Or if you sign up for our introductory learn how to do rhinestone for beginners class, we also have a ticket that includes um, the beginners kit. Okay, and it comes with all of that. But our next class will not be till, um, well, I'll know when the next class will be after this week because I got to figure out what in the world and what we got going down. Okay, so let's grab this, brush this in. Absolutely love doing bling. It's quite soothing. Especially if you got you some music going you're chilling you're in a good head space you ain't got nobody running around that can bump your table and knock all your stones out of place you're just chilling and brushing and doing good making money all right so as you see in order to start doing bling to begin with You'll need some designs. And as I showed you, like with My Foul Addiction, designs are readily available. You can also grab some off of Etsy. But My Foul Addiction, her designs are definitely uh, catered to those who may have a Cricut uh, cutting machine. But you can use a silhouette or a Cricut. You can use either one. It doesn't have to be um, a graph tech or... Um, a super high-end cutting machine. You don't need all of that, but, you know, use what you got. If you already got a cutting machine in this GravTech, if you already got a cutting machine in this U.S. cutter, you can use those. So, yes, it will work with other cutting machines. You just got to have the software that will read the SVG or the DXF or any of the other files that she has available for rhinestones okay so we're gonna just brush right back over just to be sure we got everything boom okay so i'm going to also go over with my hand i don't leave my hand sitting on the stones or rest my hand on there because your hand has natural um like oils and whatnot so if you just set your hand down and you're like yeah, so blah, 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 blah. You lift up your hand, stones are going to come with your hand and you'll be kind of sad. All right, so this is Labrador. Now, I would pick it up and show it to you. I can, but there I run the risk of knocking stones out and we don't want that at all. Trust and believe you don't want that, okay? So I'm scooping my remaining stones back into my chip. I've used this twice already on... Two different designs so the chips have 20 gross of ss10 so it will go a good long way okay good couple of shirts depending upon the amount of stones you're using all right so let me grab my transfer tape let's look and see how much this design has we're at 50 percent on the tennis shoe feel and the inside of the word fan okay so we're going to cut this okay i'm gonna kind of cut it off to the side hopefully it don't drop on top of it it shouldn't hurt anything to drop on top of it but these stones can be affected with static electricity so if you got static it can pick a stone up out of the template as well let me double check this it's going to be too short, so I'm going to cut some off to make sure I get the word rams included, but we'll show you how that works. So if you get a template and you guesstimate your transfer tape and don't get it right, no worries. There's more than one way to bling a shirt, okay? So let's drop this. And as you see, it's too short, and it was almost too short down here at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the extra tape that we have over here and just put it up there. All right, so my cutting mat doesn't hold on to the tape as hard as, as I was mentioning, like the front. You hear how that pops? It's way worse if it's on the shiny side of 
this cutting mat and you don't want it to pop because sometimes when you go to peel it and it pops like that it'll knock your stones off of your template you definitely don't want that because that's a new language learner type move as well you don't want to learn new language when you're doing your rhinestone templates okay so we're going to cut this bloop, right there just like that and we're going to go up here and we're going to lay it where it overlaps this tape here but pick that up up there and i'm going to put this down here just to make sure i get these stones down here but one stone did turn over on me up here because you're dealing with static electricity when you're using this transfer tape so just keep that in mind don't get too frustrated but that's why you gotta kind of u-shape and then go on down with it without hesitating because the static will pick a stone up and flip it on you okay so let's grab this stone here that's upside down and we're gonna grab him with the tweezers or you can use your fingernail whatever you need to do to get him off of there and we're gonna put him back in place the right way up and there we have him all right so let me do what i did not do earlier and i told myself to do it i'm gonna go grab a shirt which is way in here in my living room oh no it's not it's in the kitchen right here in this box all right so i got me an order of shirts in super happy about that because i'm constantly blinging shirts and constantly need shirts to use and like i said i'm gonna do this for my mom now she's not an extra large but she likes roomy shirts like i do and even if she doesn't want this shirt i'm pretty sure my auntie would love to have it because that's her grandson on the field actually you know what i'm gonna make this for her i'm gonna make this for her instead because that's her grandson out there scoring four touchdowns yesterday on the field he is a beast to watch all right so we are pre-pressing the shirt so that we can get the moisture out of the shirt all right and here's my trusty rusty cardboard um box that i'm going to use as a heat shield because my cutting mat does not like heat all right and i'm going to take this off of the heat press so again, when you're looking to start doing bling rhinestones, of course, you need your rhinestones. Um, but you also need transfer tape. You need a cutting machine. You need your brush to brush in the stones. As I mentioned, you can grab a brush from Walmart. You can grab it from Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon. Links to stuff is in the description below. All right, you need, you don't have to have a cutting mat, but it's helpful. You'll need transfer tape and rhinestone flock is very helpful. If you don't want stress, just get the best, okay? And the best is the rhinestone flock, okay? So just grab you some rhinestone flock. And I get my shirts from a wholesaler. So Jiffy shirts is kind of sort of of a wholesaler um if you don't buy a lot in bulk you can do jiffy shirts um and it's kind of comparable it's like a dollar and a half maybe more than what i pay for my shirts from carolina made but carolina made you have to have an account with them um, because it is a true wholesaler so um it's entirely up to you but you got to have an account but i suggest jiffy shirts if you don't have the ability to make an account with somebody with your you know um text id number that type ordeal is what i'm trying to get at okay so here we go we've got rams fan all right so we're gonna press this this is again labrador and you'll get to see that so let me get you guys tied in to Tilly, okay? So let's add Tilly so that you can see the Labrador getting pressed. And let's take
No, let's not do that. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Ooh, y'all, this thing is busting, and I ain't even pressed it yet. This is my favorite part, and y'all know it. All right, so let's get this shirt on there. I like to lay it where the collar is off of the edge of the heat press because I can't stand that crease on that collar, y'all. Ooh, child, I'd be ready to fight when I do it, and I did it to myself the other day. I was so upset. Okay, so... Everything's nice and smooth. Let's push it in. Our stones are pressed 350 degrees for about 12 seconds. Medium pressure. Do you have to have a heat press? No, but it's best. If you do, I do not recommend a household iron because a household iron has holes in it that will not allow you to press all of the stones evenly. Okay. So let's go ahead and peel this off hot. And let you see that Labrador in action. Okay. So I pressed it at the right temperature so we can reuse this tape. So we're going to set this tape off to the side. I'm going to grab this shirt and I'm going to bring it over to the cutting table so that you can see the um real time look of this shirt all right this is labrador this is the labrador color okay this is a metallic silver this is not a crystal this is labrador okay so this is silver Crystal is a completely different look, y'all. So, like, this would be great for, you know, the manly man men folk. Manly man men folk won't feel like they're wearing some diamonds and some little pansy stuff. No, sir, this is silver, okay? So, this would go great for your trim with the cowboys. This would go great with the trim. Um, I think Panthers even wear silver now. Panthers have the silver in their color. So any uh, color, like if you're doing Star Wars, R2-D2 type stuff. No, not R2-D2. It's not C-3PO because he's he's armed Dorado. But, you know, you know what I'm getting at. Mandalorian. Yes, hunty. Okay. So this is Labrador. Our next color that we're going to do is the inside of the shoe and the F-A-N. So that's going to be this absolutely gorgeous sapphire which is a royal blue so any one of your teams that does royal blue i can't think of one right now yeah, i swear my team colors is just like going off the rails wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute no no not Denver broncos is it Denver broncos they like blue and orange i think okay yeah so that could be a broncos color all right Yas hunty, so that's finishing up. Let's move this out of the way, and then we will cut our next template. Um, I personally prefer Gildan. The reason why I prefer Gildan is because Gildan is like very affordable, and most of your major brands use Gildan as their basis shirt. So uh, I don't want to name too many names, but I know like some of your Nike shirts are customers of Gildan. A lot of your Disney wear are customers of Gildan. Um, they're quite vocal about what brands shop with them. They'll let you know when you are, you know, at the back door trying to decide whether you want to fool with Gildan on a wholesale business uh, level or not. They'll tell you what brands rock with them. So Gildan is an acceptable um, shirt type. Um, they're heavy t-shirts. I use for one of my customers um, who does restaurant business and they re-up their shirts every six months um, because they want crispy tees every six months. And so it lasts six months very well for them. Um, they absolutely love their Gildan shirts. Now your Bella and Canvases are good shirts as well. Your um, 
Next Level shirts are good as well. A lot of their t-shirts though are on the thinner side because a lot of the young folks love that thin feel t-shirt, okay? I'm older, I need coverage, okay? I need coverage, I don't need thin. Now, I'm trying to be super cute. Yeah, I'll go with the thin. And, um, but, you know, for the most part, no. My son refuses to wear Gildan. He prefers Bella Canvas um, or either Next Level. I can't remember which one, but you know, these chaps, I ain't thinking about them. Um, so the Gildan has the heavy t shirts and then they have the soft style. Um, I prefer the soft style, it's still a kind of a heavy shirt feel but it's softer it's it flows a little bit better okay so like the shirt i just pressed is a soft style t-shirt but for my customers i generally use the heavy okay number one it's less it's more affordable and number two it lasts longer it's a, like a heavy duty long lasting shirt okay so let's hope that the inside of the shoe and the inside of the word fan cut like it had some sense guys honey we starting out real good look at that look at that look at that look at that nice and clean all right good job good job not that many okay i don't want to stretch too much all right not too bad okay so let's get these dots out of here we got 10 minutes and i know that template over there that's the football i don't think that's gonna cut in 10 minutes but it don't look like i'm gonna get the patrice shirt now that makes me sad because i was looking forward to doing some ss6 with y'all i don't normally do ss6 so that was gonna be fun i meant to grab the um do i have coffee in here i don't think i do i meant to grab the coffee ss in. Did I get it in the chip? Hold on. Oh, I got it. Okay. Thought I did. I'm losing it too much. Okay. All right. There's that. This and that and that out. Um. So, in addition to your cutting machine and your uh, rhinestone flock using the best method for best tool for the job. Um, you also need transfer tape. So your transfer tape, um, you, I have a link in the description for both the tape that I love to use as well as the rhinestone flock. Yeah, yeah, sometimes that thin does come in handy, but I just, I need coverage to, I need to make sure, sure. <laughs> and then i also go from cold to hot to hot to cold so you know it's just like bro so the uh gildan soft style actually is a nice middle of the road uh, shirt it's not too thick but it's not too thin either all right that looks great that wasn't a lot at all okay so what we're going to do is set that right here for now. We're going to fold this over so none of those dots escape. And we're going to set this off to the side. And we're going to grab our other um, cutting mat. And we are going to set this down. And making sure we don't stretch it. Lay it flat and smooth it out. Now, what I'm hoping is, uh, nope, that football is not going to fit right here. But that's a nice piece of real estate for a smaller size template. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this because the less cutting mat you have around your design, the less that your transfer tape has to stick to. Okay, so we're going to trim this as well because this also will work for a smaller design like this would probably work for our cancer ribbon that I need to cut out as well. All right. And so we're going to set our scraps off to the scrap pile. And here is our other part to our template, which is the word fan in the inside of the shoe, which as I mentioned for the Bluefield Rams, I'm going to go with this um, royal blue. Okay. 
pour a generous amount in there and we'll get the brushing without rushing all right like you said last night and snap all right so let's get that in there All right, and now let's get some down here for the shoe. Makes me glad I chose the low top sneakers because the high tops would have took longer to cut out. All righty, let's brush this in. Push this in and boom. All right, so let's clean this up. Clean this off. And yeah, as you go back over and clean up, sometimes you'll knock a stone out of place. Don't fret. Just grab you another little lonely stone and pop them right on into that hole. And everyone is happy. So let's brush against this. Make sure we don't have any extra stones. Clean up our stones. All right, clean up our stones. Whoops. That, that, there you are. I knew you were somewhere. I'm going to rub my hand over that only because I can feel when there's a stone out of place. You'll get used to that as you continue to bling. We got one more to go right here. And then two more up there. And we will be done with the inside. And I'm just going to reuse the same tape that I just used to do the outline um, of the design. Okay. So let's put our stones back so that we don't waste our resources. Put the lid back on snug. And here is the inside looking super cute cannot wait to put this on so i'm gonna go ahead and put the shirt back on the press first because it's not gonna be difficult to line this well you know what i'll show you the lining up part let me let me show you that i'll show you that i normally don't but we will this time okay and we knew this was you know a pretty decent size so it should fit on here the spine it's a little crunchy actually let's take this off because we don't need that anymore that's not helping Far as crunch factor is concerned so it's a little bit crunchy so that can mess with you a little bit but still be super quick and you should be good so we'll u-shape even still go straight down and go quick all right and then just rub over the top make sure everybody is still living in their home where they're supposed to be all right and then pick this up because your transfer tape from heat transfer warehouse is so good you don't have to worry about your stones not sticking to it. Okay, we're done with that. Sit that over to the side. And I'm going to show you the layering. All right. Look at me putting stuff back. Mr. McQuackens would be proud. All right. So let's get this. Get that off my shirt. Get that off the shirt. Thank you. And let's put our innards in on the design. And as I mentioned, we do have all of these colors in the buy-in. And if your template comes into Cricut at the right size, all of your stuff should line up perfectly to the point to where even she has little little stones in the middle of these circles on the laces and they all line up absolutely perfectly okay that's how you know you got a good template okay that's pretty already and we ain't even done yet let's press this let's see is tilly on there i forgot to put tilly on there because we got to do the vanna white with tilly let's see let's put tilly up there and let's do this and let's press that. All 
okay? So again, I always do the same time frame. I don't cut any layer short. So 350 degrees for 12 seconds for our stones. And then we will pull this off and let you see just how gorgeous this is. All right, you ready? Are you ready? All right. What you see? Can you see the bling? Can you see the bling? Can you see the bling? Put an amen in the chat if you can see the bling. Amen, we can see that bling. What? Holler. Holler. All the R's. Okay. Nah, fam. This needs to be on the table so that you can see. So that you can see even better on the table. Y'all, y'all need a close-up. I, I don't, you, you need a close-up. You need a close-up. I don't care what Mr. McQuacken say. I know you is. I know you is. I'm finna mess it up. I'm finna mess it up. I'm finna mess it up. I'm finna mess it up because y'all got to see this up close. I swear you do. And if I need to put it back over here in the dark, I will because I don't know what it is about that low light in the dark that make these stones bust. What? 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 Look at that. Look at that. Tell me my auntie ain't going to turn heads next weekend. Tell me she ain't going to turn heads. Y'all think I'm playing when I tell you we source the best. You hear me? Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead on. You know what? I think y'all y'all ain't centralized enough. Go on centralize them, Mr. McQuackens. They just, they need it. Let's centralize them because this, this is sensual right here, but let's take it over the top. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes, ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing. All right, so we got about 90% left on the football and the trim down here, which I'm going to do the trim in uh, probably black diamond or something. What? We got 90% left. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, no, we at 90%. My bad. Either way, we almost done. So we got to do the brown, the, the, we're going to go with coffee right in here. And then I don't want coffee on my shoe because they might think we stepped in poo. So I'm probably going to put like a black diamond right here. All right. Because I got black diamond over here somewhere. I showed Jet Hematite already. I ain't got no Jet Hematite out here. Let me see. Maybe I do. What's this? I got a whole stone repertoire out here. Who is you? You are Black Diamond. Nope. I got Black Diamond. Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? Jet Black. I don't want Jet Black. So we're going to do Black Diamond. All right. So let's go ahead and grab. Who? No. I need it. All right. So here is the last template that came from Be Createful. Okay, so this is the last part with the football, all right? And then I'm going to do the ribbon. So, because I want to put the ribbon on the sleeve. Did y'all want to hang around for the ribbon? Because it's already 11 o'clock. So if it's too late for you guys and you need to crash, I totally get it. No pressure, but I am going to at least do the ribbon. I wanted to do Patrice's shirt. So maybe Patrice, we can get together and do that on a show um oh let me say that that's a good testing piece 
do that on a show later this week. The blue is sapphire that I use. That is correct. And we will go over the colors again um, here shortly. All right. So I'm going to save this scrap and throw this part away. Because, again, you want to save your scrap flock pieces for, like, test cuts or small designs. Okay? Don't throw your flock away because you paid good money for that flock. All right, so here is our football. All right. Boop. And let's set that off to the side because I'm going to save that trim. No. <laughs> no. Chill out. We're going to use what we get. All right, so. Let's grab these dots out. Take these off my hand because it's gross. All right, and let's grab the next one. Let's grab these out. These are gross as well. As you can tell, I'm a texture person, texture hater. All right, certain textures anyways. All right, so boom, oops, boom. Angela Dandridge is a new member. Well, we appreciate you joining our ranks, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo! Holler. Yes, hunty. Yes. Thank you very, very much for your membership and for being a part of our team and supporting our channel. We are very grateful. Very, very grateful, ma'am. Thank you very much disposable commercial traveling tailgating oh lord i'm gonna have to take a look at that a little bit later ma'am and see what that's all about because i don't know that he want me to see anything on amazon the way i've been acting up this week all right so let me cut into so here are the template chopping mats that i've been getting from dollar tree two pieces no longer a dollar, dollar twenty-five, but let's not cry over spilt milk. All right. They're very easy to cut with a regular old pair of scissors. You don't need heavy duty scissors at all. All right. So I'm gonna take this one and put it up for future use for Patrice's template. And then we're going to put our football right here. Oh, you know what? Let me try not to stretch it. So I felt like I was stretching it. Let's take that off. All right. Sit it down. And boom. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And we're going to cut this right here. Okay. And see, this will make a whole other football template if I wanted to. All right. So let's grab our coffee. And then after I do coffee, I'm going to do these. Um, parts of the shoe, like I said, in black diamond. Okay. Even though, would it be cute in blue? They don't, do they put blue at the bottom of the shoe? I don't know. I think it would be cute. Let's do it in blue instead of black diamond. We want, we wants to, we wants to coordinate. Okay. All right. So let's get our coffee for our super cute football because Marilyn did her football shirt and it was adorbs. So we want to be adorbs too. Oop, come on. There we go. Why is the wind out there acting up? All right. Let's do this. Let's brush that. Let's brush up there. Come on, fam. Everybody go into the world. Let's brush that. All right. There we go. Yeah, a lot of folk lagging behind on this one. Okay. Let's get that cleaned off. Brushed all the way off of the template. Let's clean up because there's an extra freeloader. None there. 
none. Oh, there's one. And boom. That looks like everybody. Let's do another once over. And that looks great. Okay, so let's clean up our mess. No stones left behind. Because whoever did not join in the profit making ranks this time will definitely be getting sold the next. All right, so let's put that back into our chip. And boom, ready to go. So let's grab our sapphire again. I'm going to go with blue trim on my shoe because, you know, we're high fashion around here. You might as well, since we're dazzling everyone with our bling as it is when we're out there on the football field. You know what? I probably should have put this on a hoodie or something because it's probably going to be cold. It's too late. I done already put it on the shirt. So hopefully she can put a uh put a long sleeve shirt or something up under it. Or like a what they call them things, long john shirts or something. Mm-hmm. Hopefully she'll be alright with that. And one thing's for certain, if she don't want to wear it, I know several of the aunties that'll probably listen in that will. Okay. Include my mama. All right, so let us brush this over. All right, da, 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 da. That's nice. And do one more because somebody jumped ship. Okay, so let's clean up again our sapphire. And now we're going to pick this up with the exact same transfer tape that we used before. As soon as I find it. I done set it down. What did I do with it? It's right here. All right. Same transfer tape. Same principle. U shape straight down. Commit and don't quit. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now let's bring the shirt over and we'll line it up. Let's put up our stuff. Well, no, I need the brush for the ribbon. And I'm going to set the mat up here so that I can get back to it. Let's slide you off to the side. And get our shirt. Okay. So here is our shirt. And let us peel this off. And as you see, you can use this tape up to myself personally seven times. Now, seventh time was a little less sticky, but it still worked. Okay. So let's line this up. Okay, let's get that lined up, make sure that's straight, get that lined up, make sure that's straight. Pull this up just a little itty, well, actually, we can pull this down just a little itty bitty bit. Boom, 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 looks good. Make sure no stones are overlapping. And I think we're good. Let's pull this just a little itty bitty bit this way. Mm, boom, okay. All right, let's press. Who's ready? Y'all ready for this? I don't know that you're ready. I don't know if y'all ready for this. The end product? Mm -mm. Yep. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. And let's go ahead and lay our shirt. You already, let's see. Boom. All righty. And again, I don't have to change any temperature this is final press same thing 350 12 seconds and drum roll please because we got five seconds left before we reveal all this gorgeousness all right so to make money all right all you need is a nice shirt nice design and some quality stones that is going to just wow you. Wow your other folks that are all around you. You're going to be in the stadium turning heads. Folks is going to be like, oh, who is that? Who got that shirt? Oh, my God. Look at that shirt. Oh, it's just so. Oh, how did you get that shirt? Where you get that girl? Tell them, no, we got the bling of the finer thing. Okay, 
And if they want, like, I actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea to put, well, it's two players. So I'd have to put a five and then I have to get um, my other cousin's number down because I just learned that my one cousin, the wide receiver, is a number five. I didn't even know tell because I'm not a football person. But I'm getting into it for these boys because they are out there playing no games. All right. All right. So here is the shirt. Let's bring it over to the table. And we are going to switch this camera. Boom. And let y'all see this joker in its glory. Look at there. Look at there. Look, look. Look at that. Look at that coffee. What? OMG. Holler. You see this? Man, that is just, I can't even, if I say busting one more time, I'm going to bust. This is crazy. And what make it so bad, this is on camera, y'all. This ain't even in person. This ain't even in person. Do you hear me? Y'all just don't understand. I'm doing damage to my own eyes standing here looking at this. I'm going to have to go to the eye doctor this week. Good gracious of life. This don't make no sense. Okay. Gorgeous. All right. So, like I said, you could easily, easily make this a fan favorite type of shirt. It could say anything. You can say Panthers, right colors. You can say Raiders, right colors. You you make it what you need it to be in order for you to make that money legally, okay? So you can flip it over to the back. Like I said, put the, um, the large uh, jersey numbers in rhinestones on the back. We are actually going to add... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the ribbon. I want to put the ribbon on the sleeve, but we may put the ribbon just right here only because, you know, it is their breast cancer week or whatever. So this is uh, what we're going to do here. Did my phone die? I hope not. Let me see. Yes, my phone died, y'all. Oh, my God. Mr. McClackens is having a whole hissy fit back there. OK, so here you go. This is totally awesome. Super gorgeous. So now what we need to do is we need to get the ribbon cut out. So what I can do, you guys, is I can, um, where are we? I'm right here. What I can do is we can cut the ribbon, go ahead in the show and do the ribbon after and show you the picture. Or y'all can hang out. And do the ribbon with me. All right. So let me click on done real quick. Let's go to Cricut. Okay. Oh, it put me in a little corner. That's cute. Okay. So here's Cricut. And I'm going to actually save this as football fan. All right. And then that way I can get back to it and cut it again if I need to. Okay. So now that that's been saved, let's go to new, All right? And I'm going to upload, and here's the ribbon. So let's add to canvas, and each box should be 4.555 high by 2.707 wide. So let's ungroup this, touch the box, not that box, the black box. And we are at 2707 by 4.5555. All right, so this is perfect. So what we're going to do is grab this one and we are going to attach. We're going to grab this one and we are going to attach. Now, what I could do is I could um, not do the outline. I could just do the inside, but, you know, what fun would that be? So let's go to make it. I'm going to put it on the mat. I'm going to confirm. Why did it ask me that? I don't know, but whatever. All right. So you remember I had the strip of flock. Let me think. I put it in the drawer. So it should be big enough for even if I did it this way. Okay. So I'm going to go look at it real quick. But 
either way, you're looking at three inches wide by 10 inches high. Okay. So that's a smaller strip for me to have to cut than if I were to put it this way and I got to cut, you know, five by six. So let's put it this way and go with that smaller strip. And then we are going to hit continue. Now, when you cut out rhinestone templates, you don't have to mirror. Okay. So let us go to medium cardstock, more, whoops, more pressure. And then we're going to switch over to Tealy. So let's go to the back to the table. All right. Now that we got everything set up so that I can get that flock on the canvas mat, the Cricut mat. All right. So what did I say? It was three inches, I think. How wide is this piece I just put in here? I want to say three by 10. This one is three. Look at us by nine boo that's not big enough okay so we are going to cut us a three inch piece of flock so let's slide the shirt over to the side and i'm gonna cut my scraps off in a little bit actually let's go ahead and cut these scraps now because i'm getting dots all over the place and y'all know how i feel about these darn dots being everywhere All righty. So I save all of this. Yes, I do, girl. Yes, I do. I got a whole drawer down there full. Because what did my papa teach me? Waste not, won't not use what you got. That's what we fence to do. Okay. So let's fold this up. And if you have to go to bed, you have a good night. I appreciate you hanging out. If you have to leave us, I appreciate you coming and being a part of our fun. I knew you was going to do that darn thing. Okay. So I'm going to put that back. Ooh, and let's slide this over because we need three inches of flock. One, two, three. I'm going to go three and a quarter just because I want to be sure I'm going to put my hand back here so I ain't got to go get my thing. All right. And put that back where it was. And put this on the mat. Okay. My cutting mat. There we go. All right, Prince. Time to do your thug fizzle. So I'm putting this on the machine right now and pressing the flashing C whenever it starts to flash. Are you going to flash yet? Yep, there you go. And we're going to cut out the ribbon. Now, hopefully, because it's a small ribbon, it shouldn't take us very long. Golly, Prince, you have to holler every time. Well, me and Prince did, you know, get kind of vocal many times. So we're going to put this up. So that um, I can use it at any time later. Let me get these dots from back here. You know what? I think that would be cool. Actually, while that's cutting out, I know what we can do. I know exactly what we can do. Let's see. I need to keep it a little more handy so that I can get to it a lot faster. But... Let's see if I can't find it fairly quickly. So I have all of my templates over here. Now, what I do need is like an indexing or something like that so that I don't have to. And I used to have it in a file folder box with um, labels that would help me uh, get through to my different templates. And so I may need to go back to that, but for right now, all of my templates are standing up over here. So, you know what? Let's do this and see if I can't snip it out faster. Okay. All right. So here is my gamut of templates. 
I'm looking for a specific one. Not that one. Tons and tons and tons of templates. Now, ideally, you want to keep the templates that you cut more frequently um, closer by you. Oh, here it is. Like McQuackens is right there so that I can get to him. Um, and other templates, like that's my template for class. So we have a lot of templates that we like to keep front and center. So let's do something real quick. And I love the size of this to showcase stones. So you are right here. Let's do some rainbow and let you guys see that rainbow in action. Love rainbow. Rainbow and the crystal volcano and the green flame that I showed you guys earlier is a beautiful stone to use, okay? Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. And let's go with this one, all right? And let's get this all cleaned up and put it back. There we go. So we don't want to waste anybody. All right. And so let me get a piece of transfer tape. I would use the same one that I was using with the um, template, but I want to save that for the ribbon. Okay. So let's pick this up. Commit and don't quit and see if we can't find what is this? Let's see. Let's grab something to press this to a sample shirt that I messed up on with some embroidery. All right. And so we are going to press this right here on the back of this polo shirt that I messed up on. Ended up, you know, actually, let's do it on this end because there's buttons up there. Hey, loving little show, honey bunny. Welcome. I'm doing good. I am doing well tonight. Thank you for asking. I'll put it right up here in this corner so that we can put crystal volcano over here so that you can see that. Let's press this. Again, it is um, 10, 12 seconds at 350 degrees. All righty. Three, two, one. And we're going to slide this down a little bit and I'm going to slide it over a little bit and let you guys see somewhat of the rainbow effect, but it still isn't really going to hit completely home until I put that joker over there and twist it around. But that looks beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful stone. You can kind of, you can see it actually. Look at that. Look at that. Got, got Mr. McCracken hollering from the back, y'all. It looks so good. Look at that. See how cool that is? Look at the different colors. It reflects. Okay, so oh, our ribbon is done. So that's the rainbow. And I'll show you guys the crystal volcano right here beside it here after we get done with our ribbon. Okay, is there a type of fabric that the stones don't like to adhere to? Um, so vinyls. Your vinyl fabrics, your 
think that it wouldn't adhere to spandex, but it actually does, which is, you know, you can see gymnasts and stuff like that. They do the rhinestones, but you have a better uh, longevity out of your more uh, fabric-y fabrics, for lack of better um, terms. So um, I pretty much stick to shirts and t-shirts. Like denim can be picky, but denim, it just needs a little bit more love. You just need to do a little bit more pressure, the smidge more heat, or the heat is fine, a smidge more time. So like I do um, the shirts over there for 12 seconds. Denim, I would probably do for more like a 20 second. And I would definitely warm up the denim first, pre-press it, get that nice and warm, make sure there's moisture in it, and then um, press it that way. But also, as Sheila Cushionberry points out, if the material can't handle heat, direct heat, then you cannot bling it because you, you'll melt your shirt um, on heat press. So it needs to be something that definitely can withstand heat. All right. So here are our ribbons. Nice, nice peel, nice peel. All right. So this is the outline. Let's grab these four dots, two, three, four. Looks great. Okay. And now we're going to get the fill part. And almost every dot we got three one two and three so here is our feel and like i said we kept our scrap um chopping mat so we're going to stick the ribbons to that off to the side we've got this let's see where was the other one it's a little bit skinnier, but I can't find it now. So we're just going to use this. So let's grab this one and put it right there to the edge. And then we'll do this one. And I'm going to put it over here on the edge. And I'm just going to keep these together. Kind of like how I did this one. Okay. Let's set that to the side for right now. So on the shirt, we did uh, Labrador for the outline. Um, and the royal blue, but this is for the breast cancer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the, um, I was going to do the Labrador outline, but I'm going to go with the rose AB and then we're going to fill it in with rose. Okay. Give it a, just a little bit of a different look, but leave it pink. Okay. So here we go. We've got the outline here. Now the AB of course is the base color is rose and it adds, they have a, a extra coating on the rhinestone that gives it a different kind of like iridescent effect. So that's why it's called the AB. It has that um, different whoops, rainbowish type of effect on it. And then let's add these in there. Well, that one wanted to stick to me, not to a thing. Let's put you over there. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. And put you here. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is move these off to the side. Clean this up. So that we don't waste any of our stones. And where did I put that? Nope, that's not going to work. So we're going to use this. Okay. Commit, don't quit. And we're going to do a trick, okay? So we got the outside part of the ribbon. Whoops. See so how it popped and it popped that darn stone off? It sure did. So this goes where? Can't tell. Oh, right here. So 
So you got to be careful, even when you're peeling your template. Can you see the light is reflecting off of it? Okay. All right, there we go. All right, let's get that back in there. Okay, so let's see if we can't. Oh, did I put it in the wrong hole? Hold on, I might have put it in the wrong hole. Try hard not to pop it. Yeah, I put it in the wrong hole. Oop, couldn't see. All right, there we go. Now, so what I'm going to do is pick this up, set it off to the side. I'm going to try my best to layer this. It's going to be difficult because I got all this plastic right here that that tape is going to want to stick to. So, brush this in. What I may do is go ahead and cut this apart. I might do that. So I don't have to worry about it sticking. Okay. Whenever I run over one of my aunties that likes to watch a lot, she's like, I got sleepy. I had to go to bed. I couldn't hang. It's like, no, auntie, it's okay. totally understand because by the end I'm ready to go to bed usually there we go that popped on out of there by itself okay let's go in there let's go in there and boom that's pretty oh man that's gonna be really pretty oh that's gonna be pretty okay all righty and so how talented am I? Am I that talented? Let's see. Boop. Okay. A little bit, a little bit off, a little bit off. Just a little bit. Now that's another benefit to having transfer tape that's slightly used. Sometimes the stickiness wears off and it allows you to do stuff like this and reposition and whatnot without picking up stones sometimes. All right, so there we go. I think that's it. There we go, I think. I think that's it right there. All right, so now we're going to pick up these innards. Got to hold your mouth right. You got to pray. Hope for the best the whole nine, okay? So let's see. Sometimes when you do that, because the outer stones, the, the first layer is higher than the stones in the template, sometimes it makes it hard. To pick those up that one stone looks like it does not have glue on it so just to be sure i don't have to fight nobody i'm going to replace this one stone Yikes. come on fam quit playing with me okay let's replace this one teeny tiny stone and then we will be ready to press loop just like so easy peasy mac and cheesy Okay, so here is our ribbon. It's hard to see. So we're going to set that right there. Let's grab our shirt. And we're going to, I'm going to put it right here, you guys, because I think that's going to be super cute. Right here. Okay. Come through breast cancer game. All right, so. As we mentioned, your the Rose Collection Treat that's on sale, not on sale, but it's available in the buy-in. The Rose Treat comes with um, Light Rose, Rose, and Rose AB, which is what we outlined this ribbon with. 
if you purchase it, $5 for each one of those will go to the Breast Cancer Foundation. Okay, so let's go back over to Tilly and get Tilly bloop, lined up with this shirt with the collar hanging off so that we don't press and crease that collar. Let me get you. Oh, we're getting switched over already. So we've got 350 degrees, 12 seconds. All right. And then we will be done with this shirt. Well, with the exception of me putting the number on the back, but I'll do that later if I remember to do it. All right. So here we go. We got us a ribbon, you guys. We got us a ribbon on this shirt. Let me pull it down some right there. And boom, we got us a breast cancer ribbon on this shirt. Super dope, super cute. I love this. That actually turned out way cuter than I expected it to. I don't know why I wasn't. I was like, I don't know. So let's bring it over to the table so that you can see the up close and personal effect of the rose a b it's really subtle it's very subtle so like look you see that you see that see how when i turn it the outline is like a light pink right you got that and then we turn it this way and now all of a sudden it fades into the same flipping rose pink what? Ha! and then we turn it and it's just glistening and glinting and just blinding people. You see how that looks? That's the beauty of an AB stone. That AB stone will adapt to uh, whatever angle it is that you're looking at. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, you guys. So yeah, this turned out real cute. She's going to turn heads out there when she goes to cheer those boys on as they do a fantabulous job. They broke a uh, uh, they actually won against a team they had never won against before with them playing. And he made four touchdowns, y'all. I was so proud. I was in there hollering. Absolutely love it. Okay. So here is the um, Sapphire. This is Sapphire here. The filling and the shoe and the trim. Sapphire. This is coffee. Okay. And this is Labrador. And the trim and the laces and the stripe and the shoe. This is Labrador. The inside of the ribbon is rose. The inside of the ribbon is rose. And the outside of the ribbon is rose AB, which is why it gives that effect where no matter how you look at it, it kind of changes with how you look at it. Okay. Sapphire, Labrador, coffee rose and rose ab okay so this is oh and a black gildan soft style shirt okay black gildan soft style so love 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 these stones y'all love them which is why we chose to share them with you all and say, hey, join in with the buy-in. So real quick, I'm going to show you the Crystal Volcano um, because the Crystal Volcano and the Rainbow share a lot of the same properties with how you look at it different ways and you can see the uh, different colors that are joined together in this one set of stones. It's one, you know, the one stone shows different. It's, it's so cool, y'all. It's so cool. Kind of like a chameleon, how, you know, the colors can change like they do. All right. So let's brush this through. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Okay. Again, this is crystal rainbow. And not crystal rainbow. Sword, Lord, how many? Crystal volcano. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy, y'all. My bad. Hungry and sleepy. That's crazy. I can feel it, but we got some leftovers, so I'm going to enjoy that. So let's pick this up. Okay. I need to clean my mat. I already cleaned it one time today. Got a glue on it. All right, let's put the lid back on. And 
One stone looks crazy, but we ain't gonna worry about it right now. Let's grab our tape. So we're gonna commit, don't quit, go down, grab our heart. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other shirt tail back on the press so that it's in place. And then we will press the crystal volcano right beside the rainbow okay because we did rainbow to begin with now this is crystal volcano all right so just showing you guys some of the different stones that change colors you know based on how you view them in a different way than the ab which is super cool all right so here is crystal volcano over here on the heat press Actually, you know what? That one stone looks funky. I don't know why I'm coming up with bummy stones all of a sudden. So we're going to replace that one stone real quick. Because otherwise, I don't know if it's going to detract from how good this looks. So every so often, sometimes you'll come across a stone that wants to act up. Oh, and that's what it was. It just had some of the glue was missing. Just a smidge of the glue was missing off of it, child. Boom, just like that. All right, 350 degrees, 12 seconds. And then you will get to see the crystal volcano alongside the rainbow stone. All right. So here we go, you guys. This is crystal volcano, which is an absolutely gorgeous color as well. Alrighty, so you can see your gold there. You turn it a different way. You got you some greens and stuff. I can't hardly see it from over here. So from that angle, so I'm going to grab the shirt board and we're going to look at it over here at the table. There we go. So we've got golds. We got oranges. You can see the orange. Come on, baby. there we go. There we go, babe. So this one is rainbow. And as you turn it different ways, you got different colors that show up. This is like the greenish, whereas this one is like a, it reminds me of Jonquil a little bit, just a little bit, that gold. And then me looking at it this way, it turns almost clear. Kevin Moore, thank you so very much for the super We appreciate the support, sir. We definitely appreciate the support. All right. So these are some of your uh, rhinestones that can, you know, like adapt and change colors based on the angles and how you look at them a little bit differently than the AB because the AB is a coating, whereas these stones, the, this is actually the crystal itself. There's no coating on these stones to make them uh, ref, uh, have the different color variations in them. So, um, but yeah, these are some absolutely gorgeous rhinestones, um, to use, especially in larger areas. They're just super gorgeous stones. Um, and like I showed you earlier, here's the, um, green, let's do it this way. There's your green flame and here is your blue flame. All right, so again, these four, rainbow, crystal volcano, green flame, and blue flame are the stones that, you know, reflect the different colors or change color based on how you turn them and how you look at them. Okay, just to show you guys, because I love all of the stone colors, but those are super cool when you use them in a design, okay? Okay. So thank you guys for hanging out um, an extra 46 minutes longer as we did a really cool shirt for my auntie to wear. Um, hopefully my auntie will wear it. If not, like I said, I got another auntie or my mom will wear it because um, I don't know what she was planning to wear anyway. How I'm going to be like, uh, no, don't wear that. Wear this. That doesn't sound right. But at any rate, this turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I for sure love it. Let me bring it over here 
so that we can close out the show. Let me swap cameras on you guys. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. We talked about a lot and we got a lot accomplished. But at the end of the day, um, my goal has always been, look at that. Look. I ain't even got it turned the right way to the camera. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Anyways, I already knew, which is why I was bringing it to you. Um, at the end of the day, the whole goal is for you to utilize these gorgeous rhinestones to help you build a little bit of revenue. Okay. And so we definitely want to thank each and everyone who has decided to join in our buy-ins. We definitely appreciate it. Again, we do have um, somewhat of a goal that we're trying to reach with the breast cancer um, event. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. My grandmother had breast cancer and a mastectomy. His aunt had um, breast cancer and ended up unfortunately passing away from it 20 years ago or 30. I think he said 30 years ago. I can't remember right now because I'm getting sleepy. But here, um, we are going to donate $2 from every sale, as well as every um, rose treat that sells will get $5 donated to the Breast Cancer uh, Foundation. And we will definitely be posting the certificate from that um, or receipt from the donation um, at the end of it all. So we want to thank you all for hanging out with us as we bling all these beautiful stones. And later this week, we're going to try to come back on and sublimate some of those goodies that we got from Ditrans and Conde um, and put some really cool things on those. And who knows, maybe they can take them with them when they go to the game this weekend, put them some nice warm beverage, some hot cocoa or something in there um, to keep warm while they're in the stands cheering the nephews on at Bluefield uh, University up in West, West Virginia. So you guys, thank you so, so, so very, very much for joining us. Um, it was fun. A heifer is tired now and I'm supposed to go to bed. <laughs> okay. So hope you guys have a great evening. Again, um, the buy-in is live. It's going to last until the next week, next Monday. So you have basically seven days, basically seven days to purchase your rhinestones. And meanwhile, all this week, we are going to be pushing the orders out from the previous buy-in. So they are in, they are packed and getting packed and getting shipped out okay so thank you all again i hope you have a great evening and until the next time we see you we want you to bling hard man <laughs> holler <laughs> y'all have a good night <laughs> how would you define luxury your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing.